The last episode was all about getting out of the early game. Alongside that, I took down three of the 59 bosses. And in this video, we're going to take down twice as many alongside getting a surprising drop. Hello, trucks. How are we all doing today? I hope you're ready for another moderate chunk of progression on the account. To no big surprise, the questing continues as there is no better way to launch myself towards the end game, which is where most of the bossing can be carried out. Although the questing seems never ending, I have reached the halfway mark, uh, keeping in mind that most of the remaining ones are master and grandmaster quests, meaning they are significantly longer. Let me know if the cadence of progression is fitting for you guys. I personally prefer to see the outcome of the arbitrary advancements, but that might just be due to the fact that I consume a lot of RuneScape content and feel like I've seen it all many times over. Red catches, reds, a cheesy quest. Uh, and to subscribe and unring the bell. Olaf's quest truly just have great rewards, lovely experience, nice bit of cash, and four rubies for my birdhouse runs, which I am still doing. The Soger Flesh Eaters could have been a warning for COVID-19. I mean, look at these hygienic measurements. Anyway, this quest unlocks quite the funny shop. I'm not sure if I ever need to use this. I mean, look at these items, what even? I truly have developed some patience since the last time I played this game back 8 years ago. Well, truly played the game. At the time, doing just one quest felt like a huge hurdle to overcome. But for the past weeks, I've truly just been having a good time, even doing multiple quests every day. It's funny because I would presume it was gonna be the other way around. When you think about how dopamine prominent the online content has become, these quests truly are a drag for the most part, but knowing that I will only get to experience them this one time, at least for a long time, kinda enhances the joy of the grind. I'm soon gonna put the quest on a pause, mostly for you guys' sake, but I do also have an urge to fight with Jet. I could complete the fight caps with my current stats, but it would be a huge time loss if I die, so I've opted to at least try and fish for a weapon upgrade before commencing the challenge. And there is 60 Hunter, which means I can place up to 4 traps at a time. I'm finally gonna dive into some AFK combat training. The Amalite Crabs are a perfect solution if you enjoy practicing your world hub mechanics. My current record is 37 minutes to find a free world as of recording this clip. And of the Amalite Crabs, I got myself an easy glue. The very first sweets. How oh, lovely. Gonna need about probably 10,000 of these. What are they worth? What are they worth? Not bad. I definitely couldn't leave this quest out of the video. One small favor. Probably one of the most beloved and or hated quests in the game. It went by way faster than I remembered it. I got... This is like... Oh my god. This was the fourth one, I think. Oh. Well, not here I wanted to use my RNG, but I'll take it. With the Watchtower quest completed, I've surpassed 200 quest points, and would you look at that magic experience. I am soon done with the Osiris guide. What's left is a couple of quests and all of the easy and medium diaries. Oh well, except three of them, but pretty much all of them, yeah. So I'm gonna go down here and get some spices to level up some stats or boost some stats so I can complete those. Uh, yeah, I really couldn't be asked to complete all of the diaries right now. Uh, there's just some weird requirements for some of them that's, yeah, I see, there's just so much more fun to be had. It feels like never-ending questing. Yeah, I'm gonna regret putting that out on the internet. So, and yeah, I went and got myself 60 attack because the dragon shimitar had been lying in the bank for way too long. And whilst doing these jungle horrors, I managed to get two medium caskets. Please, can we get the ranger boots? Oh, that's a lot of sweets. Black motor. Great, crazy aesthetics. Okay. And Amulet of Power. Nice, that's a huge upgrade. Yee, styling, bowling. How many do I have left? Check. Ten more to go. I can now start uh, AFKing uh, melee stats, obviously, a bit more efficiently. I'm finally done editing the first video. I got myself up to 74 range from 67. Pretty good, pretty good. This should suffice for killing Jet. Uh, along the way, I did do some farming runs as well. Also some bird runs. And I found an eclectic empling out in the wild, which rewarded me with some blue DI chaps. Very generous. Now, before attempting Jet, I am gonna try and kill the crazy archaeologist along with Barrows. 
The uh, crazy archaeologist drops a rune crossbow, which is the only way for me to get one, besides rune limbs from... Yeah, I would I would have to craft one, and, and that's very far off, right? All I would like from Belrose is the Carol's bow. In all of the other slots, I have decent alternatives. Okay, 1 in 25, let's get it on, big boy! You belong in a museum, I don't know, Reign of Knowledge, yeah, that's that. Not quite sure about his uh, special attacks. Oh, careful now! Careful now! Actually, has quite a lot of health, but I'm hitting very nice here. Come on, 125. No! Ah, uh, the crossbow, 1 in 25, and I get the anchovy pizzas, which are 1 in 32. Great. Okay, last shot for a range upgrade, attempting Barrows here for the first time. Barrows Brothers, they have such high sentimental value to me. This is where I made the first video with the Mega Sonic X. Here you can have a snippet of it. We are going to the most dangerous first, because we need all the prayer we can get to kill him. So this is Darok's grave, and let's go. Safe to say my production value has decreased a lot. Whilst killing off the Barrows Brothers, I thought it was a good opportunity to take a look at my gear wishlist from the chest. The S tier represents significant improvements, the other tiers down to the D tier are insignificant improvements, and the D tier is completely useless equipment, in my opinion. The Aram's top and bottom have similar aggressive stats to the Infinity and Dagenhai which are available to me, although it does offer some better defensive stats. Besides that, it will be a huge time save to get one of these pieces, as the Infinity and Dagon Hide takes multiple hours to collect. The Carol's Crossbow is my number one wish, as it has great DPS compared to my other options, which are the Crystal Bow, Magic Short Bow, and Rune Crossbow. The Carol's Top has similar offensive stats to the God D Hide from Clue Scrolls. Unfortunately, no prayer bonuses like the God D Hide, but it does have higher defensive bonuses. And the two Barrack pieces have some prayer bonuses compared to the other tank pieces and some less punishing negative range offensives, I believe. All of the other items have worse or completely similar stats to the Obsidian and Godly Hide, as far as I know at least. And for the weapons, their purpose would be to flinch monsters, which I don't see myself doing much of at any point in the future, actually. Okay, so that was pretty mild. Let's get to the reward casket, the reward chest. Moment of truth. Oh, this is so death wrecking. Open the chest. I don't want this skeleton to cock my uh, interface. Yeah, let's just kill it. Oh, no. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Imagine if it's the Aram's hood, like, that would be so bad. No, why did I say that? Why did I say that? Ooh, what? What? Yes! Entered! I mean, uh, what the f- That's crazy, guys. What? What? Okay, time to go. Time to go up again. Okay, that's a great start. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, get me out of here. Need to turn this in for some prayer, right? Oh my... I, I don't believe it. Ah, <sighs> Come over here, dude. I need this, uh... I need this prayer experience. Icon? Yes, sure. How much? It's quite a lot of prey experience, right? Please don't. I CPA with the dusty lamp. 20,000 prey experience. That's mess. Two levels? Two levels. Okay, so I will need to go ahead and get the crystal bow before I can attempt Jet. I think that's the smartest choice. I, I could do it with the bone crossbow, but it's gonna take ages. I think I'm just gonna go with the crossbow actually. In preparation for the fight caves, I'm gonna get some more range upgrades. Oh, well, actually, it's just one. I need the boots here. The uh, tier 5 boots, so I'm gonna slay a bunch of these. And there's the full set. I am ready for this shaman, lizard shamans as well. Lovely. Okay, he goes the first attempt. This is the setup. Uh, probably scuffed. Didn't look up too much, but it should be all right. Yeah, definitely a bit rusty here. I'm contemplating leaving. I'm at wave 39. Uh, 
didn't really use much sprayer, but I missed some clicks and messed up some waves. So yeah, I'm um, so zero food pretty much. I guess I'll keep going for the practice. Whatever, minus 70 minutes of my life. I at least learned more about the cave now. So, um, what? Leave. I'm gonna bring some more food, obviously. Plenty of uh, prayer potions. So, uh, let's try it again. Okay, guys, this is the new setup. Went with the shield instead. It's a bit less prayer bonus, but some uh, more tanking mitigation thingy. And uh, yeah, this is it for the food and prayer. Well, let's go. I'm trying to bite over too much here. This was the second attempt, wave 40. It's not the supplies, it's just panicking. I like, I need to learn this shit. Attempt number three. At least I'm getting some levels up in here. In case you got lost in translation, I have got little to no real PVM experience. And as stated before, I didn't really look up any guide on how to take on the fight caves with a budget setup. I went in here rusty and sort of unprepared because I thought to myself, if I couldn't figure out how to complete the fight caves and doing so whilst prayer flicking, there is absolutely no way that I'm going to be able to see this challenge through. Jesus. I got nothing left now. Oh my god. Um, this wasn't even the hardest wave. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I messed up. Wave 16. Needed more food. Oh, that was it for the evening. I think I learned a lot. Man, I burned so so many calories. This took two almost two and a half hours. Jesus, I'm gonna get some lasagna now. Night, dude. I was trying to take my time. Oh. Oh. Well, PB. I don't know. The healers took forever to arrive. I thought they were gonna come there quicker. Guess to go again tomorrow? Oh. I don't know. That was, that was just stupid. I don't know. Uh, it took my time, I think. I wasn't as nervous as I thought it was gonna be, so... That was a bonus, I guess. Hold on. I'm really gonna sit here and watch this Grof struggle with the five caves when this blow is supposed to do the infernal and next with a budget setup. Yeah, that's how you guys sound. Uh, I'm not judging, it's just uh, when are you gonna accept it? Nah, no more fooling around, let's demolish this dog. Techno and tequila, I really wanna feel ya. Bro, that is so undeserved. Like that was oh, that run was so terrible. Look at my look at my freaking inventory, dude. I messed up so many times. Well, I shortened the run because I started using Eagle Eye uh, because I learned the previous run that I was so uh, very fine on prayer, and it turns out I was again. I'm not even happy with myself. Like, but there we go. There we go. I'm finally free again. Dobby has received the fire cape. It's time to level some combat stats. Yeet.